Good morning world, it's Kelly. I have been asked a lot lately about essential oils and our beloved pets. Uh, I've seen a lot about how toxic these are for our pets and they can cause seizures and all types of things with our pets. Um, I have been using essential oils around my pets for many years and um, my pets like them. You may have seen my video from yesterday with Ella having a seizure um, and how they responded to that. I'm not going to get into specifics there, but watch that video. Um, some oils my pets are attracted to and some they stay away from. I very rarely put oils directly on my pets. Um, I more diffuse them and wear them on myself rather than putting them directly on them because animals can be very sensitive to them. Um, everyone reacts differently to everything. Um, some people have food allergies and some don't and you don't know that you do until you try that food. Some people respond well to certain medications and some do not. You don't know until you try it. Um, because animals are so sensitive, you do want to start out slowly. And diffusing is a great option. And make sure that they're not in a room with the door closed while you're diffusing. So that way they can leave the room if they feel they need to. Um, you want to make sure that you are using high quality essential oils. With the... Uh, craze of essential oils. Now, now, keep in mind that they go back thousands of years. Um, but there have been a lot of different essential oil companies popping up. Only 2% of essential oils on the market are actually 100% pure. That means 98% are unpure, adulterated, synthesized, garbage added to these bottles claiming to be essential oils. And there's no regulation on what you put on a label. You can put anything on a, on a label, just like with food. All natural doesn't mean anything. So you want to make sure that you know and trust your source. I personally use Young Living and would not use anything else because I trust them. They have the seed to seal guarantee meaning they own their seeds, they plant their seeds, they do their farming, their distillation, their bottling, and they guarantee it. Young Living has 100% pure therapeutic grade A oils. Not many companies can guarantee that. So if you're gonna be using essential oils around your pets, make sure it's good oils, okay? Young Living is not the the only brand, but it's the only one that I trust because I know how true they are. Um, so some oils you want to maybe avoid with your pets is ones that are high in phenols. Phenols are in oregano, thyme, um, cinnamon, more of the hot oils. So you want to be careful with them. I know someone that puts peppermint oil in the water trough for their horses, and the horses love it. Um, so you do kind of have to just take it easy and experiment. But as long as you're using good oils, um, you can use them safely and take it easy, a little bit at a time. Uh, pets are very sensitive to scents and things, so... Um, I prefer to just diffuse around them and maybe put the oils on myself. A lot of times I'll put them on myself and then my cat or my dogs will come over and lick them off of me. Um, in the summertime I have herbs out on the deck and my cat will often go to the peppermint and eat the peppermint plant and that is where peppermint essential oil comes from. Um, animals are very intuitive. so. If you're using something and they start to act differently, maybe stop using it. Um, you want to do your research. You can ask your veterinarian. A lot of times veterinarians don't know much about it. 
Um, so I do my own research. Um, Young Living has a whole line of essential oils made specifically for pets. And Young Living has veterinarians and scientists that do research on all of these oils and these pets. And that's how they determine what goes into these blends that they create for pets. Um, Life Science Publishing has some really great sources. You can go to www.discoverlsp.com. They have little books like this and they have a whole um, big reference guide for essential oils with pets. Um, so you can look that up there. Um, like I said, I've been using oils around my pets for many years and um, they seem to enjoy them. And like the video I posted yesterday with Ella and her seizure, um, respond well. So I hope that clears up some things for you. If you have any questions, you can comment. You can find me on Facebook. Um, and like I said, do your research. Good luck. We love our pets.